Watch, Mr. Heavyweight Boxing today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, you and you're watching Mission Boxing. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so Junior Fott took care of business in the first round with a TKO victory over Nufel Aota out in the uh, great city of Columbus, Ohio. Also on that card, you had Hemi Ahio, who remained undefeated. You also had Stephen Shaw getting a victory over Donovan Dennis. And my man George Arias took care of business, and all three of those undefeated heavyweight prospects remain undefeated, all right? Um, five moved to 17-0 with 10 stoppages. This was easy work, man. Now, I broke down Nufel Oota, I broke down his style. I actually talked about this fight a couple weeks ago. Um, and I thought his best bet to beat Junior Fa is kind of fight the way he fought against Johan Dupa and Erkin Tepper, although those are his only two losses, two defeats. He has some bright spots in those fights by doing what? Sticking and moving, using his uh, fighting those guys from a long range, being able to get off straight punches and being able to circle. I thought he had some success. Now, the pressure got to him against Dupa and Tepper and they were able to uh, get him out of there. But early in the fight, I thought he was doing a good job of landing some combinations. Not the most powerful guy, right? Not the most powerful guy, but he actually has good uh, fundamentals. You know what I mean? You can tell that, uh, you know, he's worked on his fundamentals. But rather than that, though, he just couldn't handle the pressure from those guys. And he definitely couldn't handle it tonight against Junior Fa. Fa knocked him down four times. The ref ended up stopping the fight. Pretty much, he just fight like a bulldog man sometimes Fa has the ability to go in there and be very aggressive where he's trying to land that big right hand like he did in this fight and good left hooks to the body he can dig to the body and look for that big right hand he was kind of like a, a you know what they say a bull in a, a china shop you know what i mean he just ran him over man but Fa does have the ability to fight off his back foot that's something that i noticed years ago when he was fighting in the world series of boxing where he's pretty nimble for a big guy and he's even more nimble that he's coming in at 254 i'm loving this weight by junior five he is no longer fighting at 275 he's at a trim ready 254 you can tell by the definition in his body tone and his muscle that he's really taking his diet serious and uh add new and different things to his workout regimen all right so good to see junior five here in the states taking care of business he went in there so i mean i guess you can look at it like this right i don't like to use the triangle theory but he can kind of compare his performance to some of the other guys that newfell has fought do up on a tepper and hey, he looked way more impressive in his victory. He didn't allow Newfield to move around, use a jab, land some combos, go from round to round. He got him out there quick, really quick. The ref jumped in, stopped the fight after the fourth knockdown. But uh, this was easy work, man. So moving on from here, uh, you look at these WBO rankings, Junior high, Junior 5. This is his uh, highest ranking in any of the sanctioning bodies uh, that I looked up. Uh, he is number nine currently. I'm waiting for the WBO to uh, refresh their rankings. But as of right now, he is number nine by the WBO. Um, <clears throat> look at the top 10 here. Dillian White, number one. Tom Schwartz, number two. Tom Schwartz, I'm going to do a video on his fight he had today. He took care of business as well with a second round stoppage victory. Uh, he moves to 24-0. You got Jarrell Miller, number three, who will be getting his title shot. Uh, getting a shot at Anthony Joshua here in June 1st. Um, then you got Tyson Fury, number four. Five, Oscar Rivas, who just previously uh, stopped Brian Jennings. Zhili Zhang, the two-time Olympian. Uh, I would love to see Zhang fight Fa. Um, Tyrone Spong, the explosive uh, fighter. Tyrone Spong, he's undefeated. Kairatoa Fujimoto, I think he's food, man, for anybody in this top 10. Kairatoa Fujimoto, I think he's food. Then Junior Fa, number nine. Ajit Kabayel, number 10. He also had his fight today with Rodinko. 11, Brian Jennings. Got Christian Hammer, number 12. A lot of these guys have fights today. Um, but I will say this, man. I think that Junior Five, the WBO should get prepared to make some type of title elim elimination fights, man, with some of these guys. Five versus Swatch to me would be perfect. That's the fight I really want to see. Five, Swatch, or maybe Tyrone Spong or Oscar Rivas. But somebody in there for Five doesn't necessarily have to be next, but probably within the next fight, the next two fights, maybe. Let's get some of these eliminators going, man, because we don't want to see just the same recycled guys getting title shots over and over and over again, unless they deserve it. But they're going to have to deserve it, knocking off some of these guys with O under their loss column. All right. Um, one thing I did notice about this fight, it was for a little minor strap. It did have a minor strap on the line. Uh, five, the WBO international title holder. And one thing I can say about that is, yes, it's a minor strap. It doesn't 
you know, really count towards anything in the grand scheme of things. But what I will say is the last five WBO international title holders were Dillian White, Pavekin, Tyson Fury, Derek Chisura, and David Hay. All right. So Hay, Chisura, Fury, Pavekin, and White. Now Fah has that title. All right. So all those guys have, you know, been in high profile fights. So can't wait to see Junior Fah when he steps up and takes on a, um, you know, some type of title elimination bout. The WBO inter, uh, Intercontinental title holder is Tom Schwartz. All right. So again, that's the fight I'm really clamoring for is Fa versus Swatch. I would love that fight. But if they threw him in there with a Zhili Zhang or Tyrone Spong, I'll be just excited. But I think one of these guys in this top 10 should just go ahead and take care of Kyrotoro Fujimoto. Nothing against Fujimoto, man. But uh, I just think he he's just just think he gets torn up, man, by anybody in that top 10. All right. That fight I wouldn't actually mind either. If Fa were to take on Fujimoto, because Fujimoto is in their top 10, not because he's a a, you know, a world beater, but just to knock somebody else off that's rated and then step into a title elimination bout. You know what I mean? They can possibly make that fight into a, a, a elimination bout. Not a final eliminator, but just some type of elimination bout, man. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section about Junior Fa, his victory today in the States in Columbus, Ohio, first round TKO. Let me know what you think in the comment section, y'all. I'm gone.